gather with the chatters. Today we're catching fish tacos at Santa Fe Dam. This is a little lake outside of Williams. There's not a ton of fish in here, um, but one of the things that's really neat about this lake is there's perch. And perch is one of those fish that makes great fried fish and um, is kind of a unique fish. You don't find it in very many lakes in Arizona, so kind of exciting to be this close to home and be able to catch such great tasting fish. So, you guys ready to go get something to eat? All right. You got one? I got something. Awesome. I want to see it when you get it in. What'd right. you get? A tortilla fish? <laughs> wow, I haven't caught one of those in a long time. I wasn't joking when I said we we're going to catch fish tacos at Santa Fe Dam. Oh, is it a taco sized fish? You know, yeah. you can let those go and then come back a year from now and catch them in their burrito size. Oh man, we're not letting these ones go. Well, maybe we will make fish tacos. Curly tail grubs, they'll catch anything. <laughs> oh, I got one. Got one. What is it? I don't know. I got one of the last ingredients we need. It's uh, tartar sauce. Heck yeah. Oh, you know what I though? I forgot to bring the knife. Oh. So we don't have a way to clean the fish. No, it's all right. We can always clean them at home. All right. You're not gonna believe this. What? I caught a knife. No way. Yes. We really do have everything we need. Yep. Now if only that guy could catch us some fish. <laughs> Does he feel good? I actually did feel good. Hoist him up on the bank. Oh, you got a crappie. Nice. They make good fish tacos too. Hold that dude out. There's a crappie. Crappie or a perch? That's, it's a crappie. Not too crappie, huh? Yeah. Nice job. Got one? Nice. Good job, hun. Look at that stout little dude. Yeah, so check this dude out. So they're real pretty. They're kind of like a walleye. Sometimes they'll be a pretty green with orange stripes, but they taste amazing. And they don't get very big, especially here in Arizona. Like if you catch a half pounder, that's real good. He's still pretty little though, but anyway, super cool. Very nice. All right, JR just caught one. What'd you get, man? A little tiny yellow fur. Oh, heck yeah. Got one? Yeah. Let's see what you got. It's a crappie. He's pretty. Hold him out. Nice. So JR just caught one and he's being all gentle with it. Aaron came a couple days ago and he was catching much bigger ones than these, but we are not having the same luck. So we're going to keep these smaller ones for now. Cool. You got one? I do. Hold him out. He's beautiful, huh? He's really cool. All right. JR caught another one. How many you think he caught today? Uh, maybe a dozen. Dozen, yeah, I bet, at least. So we had a pretty good day at Santa Fe Dam. We caught enough fish that we're gonna be able to make some fish tacos. So um, Aaron filleted the fish out for us. I've made some tempera, which is just flour and water. 
mixed to a flour, water, and baking powder mixed to a very thin batter consistency. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my fillets in there. Look at that cute little fillet. <laughs> and then lay it in my grease. And my grease is maybe half, half the the depth as the fish is wide or thick. And that just allows some of the fish to be exposed on the top. It's not fully um, deep fried at this point. We're just kind of doing a half fry. See if you can't sneak some in here. Let them cook for probably another minute on that side and then we'll flip them over. All right, so I flipped them over and I've cooked them for about two minutes on this other side. You're looking for this golden brown. And these are small enough fillets that they don't take long to cook at all. I'd say probably a total of five minutes between the two sides. And I'm just gonna let them drip over the pan and put them on a paper towel. And they look great. Yeah, I don't think Fern has ever had a yellow perch. Yeah, this they're be awesome. They're a rarity in Arizona, you know, and most places I have caught them, they're really small. And so it's kind of a special thing that Santa Fe has them getting to be about a half a pound now. Okay, I'm going to show you how I make a fish taco. Um, I like flour tortillas. Some people use corn, but I'm going to use flour. I'm going to give it a little bit of coleslaw mix. So not coleslaw, but the coleslaw mix without the mayonnaise. These are a pretty good bed. Uh, you can also just use shredded cabbage. And then it only takes a couple pieces of fish. And then I like to do a little bit of tartar sauce or horseradish sauce. Either one's real good. And then either taco sauce or salsa. And then just sprinkle a little cheese on there. And that's it. Looks delicious. Let's eat! All right, Fern, you have never had fried perch before. So tell me what you think. it taste better than walleye or the same or? Um, the same. Okay, they're related, so that kind of makes yeah. sense. What do you think? It's really good. I have the right amount of cabbage and horseradish sauce and salsa. I'm loving it. You wanna try a bite? Yeah, I'm gonna try mine. Horseradish, I think, adds to it, but tartar sauce is good too. But oh, that's incredible. It's too bad they don't get as big as like a killer whale or something, you know? Oh, yeah. But that's what makes them special. Thanks for watching Hunt Gather with the Chatters. We'll see you next time when we go get something to eat.